Oh, diddly do. I'll just make sure this is uh, not going to fall out. So, well, it's that time of year again. Um, I've not done a video regarding mental health for a while. So, really, I thought, what a better time than now. Um, because from tomorrow, it's all going to be kicking off. It's actually, to be honest with you, it's kicked off for the day. In the supermarkets, people are fucking panic shopping. I'll be like that tomorrow, I'll be like that on Sunday. And then Monday, it'll be great. Christmas has passed. Then it'll be fucking panic shopping again because it's the New Year. So it'll be again, they'll be there on the Tuesday and the Wednesday and the Thursday. Oh, fuck. If, like me, and you suffer from mental health and you absolutely detest this time of year, then this one's for you guys. It's just to let you know that nobody, but nobody should be on their own. Nobody. Now, this is not just for people suffering with mental health, okay? The cold snaps in now, you've got your elderly. I've actually got that way, the 95, and that way, 85. Either side of us. I'm a teenager compared to this fucking lot. Absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> but you know what? It makes sure that they've got everything. I always stay in touch. Job on the door. Pop in. Cup of coffee. Have a beer. Oh, cheers. <laughs> and it's amazing how a wee bit of laughter cheers people up. Because... You've got to bear in mind that just because if you're sitting there, we'll go to we'll go to the happy people just now. Ooh, three more sleeps to Santa's come. Absolutely fucking brilliant for you. Okay? But let's look at the other side because this is what I like to do with you now. Bring to people's attention that no Christmas is for every single person. Right now there is somebody at the hospital watching a beloved person, their family, depart from this planet. you got to bear in mind that sadness does not pick a date and time. Okay, so maybe the doctor shot for a 24 hour period because they deserve it. But the fire service, they didn't really stop. Because if you set the house on fire, they're going to, we'll see you on Tuesday because we're off. That's not going to happen. And ambulance stuff, work around the clock, the police, i got a story about them, but that's for another day. Uh, let's just see, on Friday there, I nearly got lifted, and, uh, well, I have no respect for the police establishment right at this time and moment, let's just put it that way. Okay, an absolute law-abiding citizen, but I'll leave it at that because I want to actually concentrate on other people's problems and no mine. So, being a mental health sufferer, um, I'm now, I would say, well, I'm, I'm, near, I'm coming up for three years and nine months since I was diagnosed with having a mental health disorder. Um, unfortunately, just after that, lockdown kicked in back in 2020, and since then, uh, life means nothing to me at times. I don't mind admitting that. I really don't mind admitting that. But I've got myself into a position where I now understand what rattles me. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm so forgetful at times. You'll probably see me stopping in these videos. And, and the beauty about videos is that, well, you can edit stuff just like this. And you just move on to another scene like this. Move the camera. I could leave the camera where it is. I could do whatever I want. Because this is airy fairy land. This isn't a real life. Real life is once you shut this phone down or your tablet or your TV, whatever you're watching this on, okay? If you're not going to watch anymore and you're just sitting there, that's you back into real life again. And this is where people need help, okay? So you can't punish people for being happy at Christmas. Especially kids, because this is a kiddies thing. 
right? But you, you, you also kind of punish people for going humbug. Because these people are entitled to opinion as well. These people are hurting. There's people now that are got... That it's bad enough dealing with being on the breadline as it is. But you know what? There's some kid going away to come off now and he's going to go away to school on Monday. Well, not Monday, sorry, after the New Year when they've had their break. What did you get for your Christmas? Oh, I got a, I got an iPhone 15 Pro Max. What did you? Oh, I got this and I got that. Over a thousand pound for a phone. There's people have no even got a thousand pound to last them for a month. So, but these, the younger generation, I don't think they understand the volume of money. And the, the parents nowadays, rather than standing up to it, they actually give in to peer pressure. But what about the single parents through, and I'm not just talking about a single person that's fucking 18 year old with two kids, right? Fucking Beyonce and Tiffany. You know? I'm not about something like that. I'm not about a person that this year life was so rosy and they were looking forward to Christmas and their partner died. And that child is now without a parent. Or a worst case scenario, a child, both parents have died. And they didn't understand because they're staying with an auntie and an uncle or a granny or a granda or a godfather, godmother, whatever the situation is. A, a, a thousand pound phone's not going to bring back their mum and dad. And this is what I would need to, people to understand. But also, there's people who suffer through mental health who are thinking about at this time of year actually taking their own life. Now, I don't mind bringing this up because I've been in that situation and I know how it is. But that's the series of things. You kind of just turn the blind eye at it. So, if you're one of these people that are sitting here watching this right now and think it's going to be all doom and gloom, well, let's up the ante a bit. I've got a message for you because I've been where you are. I've seen the abyss. I want tablets to help us. Um, I've fought the, the, the dreaded battle with us. And, and so far, there's still no light at the end of the tunnel for me. Um, I'm in a position where nowhere I can't even go out and work. I kind of socialise with people. Um, there you go. I'm not telling you what time of day this is, but I'm having a beer. I'm not an alcoholic. I just love to have a beer and I love to relax. Your good health again. So cheers. Well, if you're a person that needs a bottle every day and has a bottle of vodka with your cornflakes, you have a serious problem. So my message is, instead of hating the world and hating yourself, I'll tell you right now, whoever you are, even if it's just one person watching this, you are not worthless. You are not the scum of the earth. And I'll be honest with you, in this day and age, I really don't have a damn objection to whatever race, colour or creed, right? Even, even if you're a fucking one of these them and they people, right? I really don't care. I, 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 I don't believe in that, but I don't care. You're a human being and you're entitled to respect, self-respect from everybody. Okay? And to get self-respect, I've found that having at least one person, you need one person to help you get through this, especially this time of year. And if you've got that person and... If somebody offers you to come to their house for Christmas, whether it's out of pity, right, or whether it's out of you, or you think it's pity, sorry, because that, 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 that's a wrong thing to say, right? Whether you think it's out of pity, or just that they're, they're just trying to make you feel good. If you are going to be on your own on Christmas, whether you want to go or not, okay, go. Because these people will be your friends, and these people will genu genuinely want you to be there. And hey, by just getting over that hurdle and going there, I can guarantee you, 
you'll raise a smile. And if it's even only one smile, it gets a thumbs up for me. Um, if you have no place to go and you have nobody, then feel reassured that you've got me. Uh, leave a comment below if, if you want me to do a video so I can wish you a happy Christmas on Christmas Day. I will stop what I'm doing and I will actually put out another video and I will mention you by name. Personally. I'll, I'll, and even if, if there's 20 of you, I'll sit there and I'll run a list. And definitely. But if I've done it, I'll take it at least that hopefully you've took up somebody's offer and you're having a good day. I mean, it's, uh, there's, there's nothing in the news worth cheering about. That's full of doom and gloom. Um, you even just look at the shops now, if you go in the, the high street. I call it the death of the high street now, because it is just an absolute place of despair. Um, you know, there's, there's, there is actually genuine people begging in shop fronts, trying to get a bit of heat, just looking forward for a blanket. I mean, how these people cope with that is beyond me. I used to use the word junkie a lot, and I used to be think they were a, a scourge on the end earth. But they're not really a scourge on the earth. They are a person, a human being, who actually made a bad decision. Okay? So if you look on it that way, I would like the government to actually give these people help. They say they're fighting crime and they're fighting drugs. They're fucking turning a blind eye at it. No, they're no bothering their arse about it. You can just see it there. Fucking hell, I mean, just a couple of months ago there, the police were actually saying to us, there's certain crimes now that we didn't have time for. So if your shed gets broken at that, oh, fuck it, eh? What's that? What kind of message is that putting out to burglars? We'll just go out and break into sheds because the police didn't have time anyway. They're not, they didn't get caught. Let's see what we can fucking get. And me... My shed sits open now because there's none but all screws and bolts, not in it. Anybody comes and reads my shed, I'll do a video on it and I'll say thank you to them. Because <laughs> if he took a while out of shit and gave me some room. <laughs> Positive spin. So, but hey, I just wanted to wish uh, everybody some kind of a happy Christmas. I hope that... I really do hope that you can actually get through this dreaded period. Yesterday was actually the shortest day and the longest night. It was the winter solstice. So there's a bit of positiveness here. Every day from now you wake up, there will be more and more and more daylight. And before we know where we are, we'll be in the spring. The clocks will spring forward, we'll get an extra hour's daylight. Flowers will start budding. Trees will start blooming. Birds will start chirping. And we're coming into the good period now, so accept that support, smile every day, and basically get up in the morning, look in the mirror and go, I'm worthy. Because you know why? You are. So, thanks for listening to my waffle. I really, really do hope that you do have a good time. But, as I said, if there is some something that you would... Even if you want me just to say Happy Christmas to you, stick it down in the comments. You can also write me an email to randomtherapy007 at gmail.com. That is all in lowercase, in, okay? And I always answer my emails for anybody that gets in touch with me. Uh, I'll show you how positive that spin is. I've actually got people now who are subscribers... Then I hit the like button to beat the algorithm like I would like them to do. But they're a subscriber. And I thank them for that. I'm in contact with them through WhatsApp. I'm in contact with them through email. And I'm even in contact with them directly by their phone number. Because, hey, everybody's a lovely person. And so are you. So, I hope you have a good time. I'll do one again at the new year just to make sure and just to do a check-up on you. But you. So Merry Christmas everyone.
please look out for those who are less fortunate than yourself and please offer a hand to those who, though you may think they're not struggling, if you take the time to look at them and watch their body language, you'll see that are. I'll speak to you before the new year. Thanks for taking the time to watch. And hit that fucking like button! <laughs>